Hey, this is Jeff. Welcome to another one of my videos in my series Discovering Kelowna, where I have set myself the personal challenge of seeing all of Kelowna's city parks and uh, to do it within one year. I am getting near the end. Now, the way I've been uh, operating this challenge, I try to pick parks from a certain neighborhood, get to know that neighborhood, do kind of a loop, see a few things, but every once in a while there are parks that fall through the cracks. And I like to do a week where I do some odds and ends. So this is one of those weeks possibly the last one of those weeks, and I got three parks uh, near the middle of town that uh, didn't end up in any of the other videos that I did. You know, a lot of the uh, videos I have left to do are in the hills around town, but these are three parks near the middle of town. This week we're gonna see uh, the Memorial Park Cemetery, Enterprise Park, and the large and fabulous Ben Lee Park in Rutland. So, come along with me as I discover three parks in Kelowna I have never been to before. So my first park of the week is the City Cemetery. This is Kelowna Memorial Park Cemetery. It is a very large cemetery, larger than you might think. And there's still a lot of space to expand to. You can see behind me, there's a, this is kind of an isolated patch of grave sites looking south across the town to the south slopes. Perhaps you can see the Bellevue Canyon over there. This cemetery is actually older than the city of Kelowna itself, in a way. The oldest section, called the Pioneer Cemetery now, was started in 1892. And of course, uh, the city was not uh, incorporated until 1905. But by 1892, there had been uh, European settlers in this valley for 30 years or so. So uh, clearly there was a need for a Protestant burial ground. And um, here it is. So it's at the foot of Dilworth Mountain, which makes for a very lovely spot. There's a lot of native vegetation in this cemetery, ponderosa pines and Oregon grape and things growing all over. I saw a deer. Uh, so it is a park, but of course it's not a park where you're allowed to come and uh, play any sports or games. It's a place for uh, grieving and reflection, as the signs say. Uh, nevertheless, a good place to go for a walk or to go for a bike ride because it is quite a, a sizable place. Um, it has a lot of interesting features. The Pioneer Cemetery that I mentioned uh, is the final resting place of a lot of uh, founding fathers of the city and uh, of course a lot of women as well. But um, a lot of the men we know the names of, early mayors and MLAs, people like uh, F.R.E. DeHart, Harry Raymer, uh, D.L. Sutherland, Dick Parkinson. Uh, when I was walking through that area I saw a lot of names that are familiar from streets and other things like Crawford, Birch, Gallagher, right? Um, so if you look, I think you can find a lot of the uh, resting places of a lot of interesting people. Um, there is a section uh, that's been restored uh, with Japanese and Chinese uh, pioneers who, of course, as a plaques acknowledge, were not always treated very well in the history of BC. Of course, Kelowna's Chinatown is no longer there, so it's nice to see them getting recognition. Um, a lot of uh, new gravestones have been put on previously unmarked graves as a heritage project in this uh, cemetery, which is great to see. One interesting feature is the uh, scattering trail, which is a still a natural trail where you can scatter ashes uh, along the uh, lower slope of Dilworth here. There's uh, some standing stones where you can put plaques and then there's a trail. Um, that's quite an interesting feature. Perhaps the most spectacular feature of the park is the Legacy Garden, which has, I think, been recently augmented, but uh, the centerpiece of which is the large and, uh, the large and spectacular grave of W.A.C. Bennett and his wife. Of course, he was a very important uh, figure, not just in the history of Kelowna, which he represented in the BC legislature, but also as Premier of BC from 52 to 72. So a very important historical figure in the history of Kelowna and of our province of British Columbia. So uh, I was hoping to find his grave. I had no idea it would be so easy. Uh, it's, yeah, it's something to see. Um, anyway, a uh, 
important park, a historical park, a, a large park, and uh, I'm glad I came to visit the Memorial Park Cemetery. Hey, here I am coming to you from my second park of the day, Enterprise Park. This is a really interesting park. Uh, it is in the neighborhood along Enterprise, which is a light industrial neighborhood now. Um, and it's kind of tucked in behind a lot of in light industrial uh, zoning, and it's kind of hard to find. Um, eventually I did find the driveway that leads to a small parking lot, but uh, mostly what we got here is land that used to be a golf course, and I think about 20 years, maybe a little more than 20 years ago, it was redeveloped. and. Uh, the south half along Enterprise was made industrial zoning like the surrounding area, but the north half was made a reconstruction project because this park lies along Mill Creek. Of course, Mill Creek, one of the two big creeks that has created the uh, Delta Valley that uh, Kelowna sits on, a very important creek and one that has uh, traditionally been controlled in order to uh, prevent dramatic flooding. So. And when the golf course was here, that creek was uh, channelized and all the woody uh, roots and things were taken away and there was a lot of uh, erosion and other problems. So they took this opportunity to naturalize the creek and now it's got all sorts of wanders and oxbows in it. They put lots of uh, interesting riffles and things in the creek and uh, they must have planted a lot of trees because there's a lot of natural trees and things growing around and uh, it's grown in so well that in some places it looks like they're almost neglecting it. Uh, it's, I found a informational board from about 20 years ago that is totally lost in the bush but um, Nevertheless, they do come and they do maintain the park and it does have a lot of interesting uh, trails through it uh, with the winding of Mission Creek. There's a lot of nice, nice bridges. Uh, there's a stormwater retention pond, uh, of course, which is super useful to uh, minimize flooding. And uh, on the south side, there is a fenced in off leash dog park, which is great. Uh, of course, most of this uh, park being a nature preserve and a naturalized area, you have to have your dog on a leash. But there you can let your dog run around off its leash, which is always good to know about. And I bet you this one's not used as well as some because it is really tucked out of the way in a non-residential area. So this is a cool park. It connects directly with the, both the uh, Mill Creek Linear Park and also is just across the creek from the uh, Okanagan Rail Trail. So it's well connected in that sense. But uh, in terms of driving here, it's a little more, uh, a little more out of the way. So. Uh, a beautiful park, a great place to go for a uh, walk in nature, down by the creek, not up in the hills. So uh, you should definitely come check out Enterprise Park. Hey, so here I am in my third park for the week. This is Ben Lee Park. So this is a park in Rutland, and this is possibly the biggest park in Rutland. I believe this park is 20 acres. It is huge, it is beautiful, and it has a lot of nice features for the people of Rutland, and indeed uh, for the wider Kelowna area. It's got a skate park, it's got a water park, it's got a playground, um, it's got a lacrosse box, and it's got a trail all around the outside. Uh, it's got a lot of trees, as you can see, all of them uh, dedicated and donated by people. Um, this park is, used to be uh, an orchard, uh, I believe in the uh, 90s, it was bought by the city, and this park opened in 2001. It's named after Ben Lee, who was a Colonial City Councilor from 1973 to 96, and uh, he did a lot of amazing uh, community work in Rutland, and he definitely deserved to be honored with this park. He uh, was definitely into public parks and also into multiculturalism. So. Um, it's a fitting tribute to him and it's a beautiful place so you can come here for a picnic you can come here um, with kids because there's the water park at the playground the kids love it there's a lot of area in the middle to run around um, I saw a lot, of, a lot of young people with their scooters at the skate park so it's a well used and beloved community amenity and I think it will be for decades to come if not longer so treat yourself and come down for a walk around Ben Lee Park
Well, there you have it. That was my three parks for this week. Three odds and ends that I missed earlier this year, going around uh, Rutland and other parts of the Mill Creek Valley. Uh, from west to east this week, we saw the uh, all-important historical Memorial Park Cemetery. We saw the uh, beautifully reconstructed Enterprise Park with winding Mill Creek and uh, naturalized areas. And we saw the beautiful and beloved Ben Lee Park in Rutland. So I hope you enjoyed what we had to show you. I uh, really enjoyed seeing those three parks, all different, all special, none of, them, uh, none of them boring in any way. So if you liked that video, please definitely uh, hit the like button and uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. My challenge continues. Next week we'll see something else. Uh, not sure what it is yet, and I'll let you know when I know. Uh, I hope I see you next week.